Plate six, whistling tune. Four four time with one flat. So it's a F major or D minor. Well, let's look at the end. What do we got here? Here. F major to me. We'll be able to tell because these different keys sound different. As you play it, you can tell which key it's in by the sound eventually. Right hand first. Let's get the notes and the rhythms here and the fingering. They're here. One and two and three and four and one and two and. It's a G and an A flat and it comes on the end of two. One and two and. And it's off on three, so it's just, it's just, isn't this fun? And you get that again and again, second line, second measure. One and two and three and four and. You're playing on the ands. That's always fun to do. Start with the first measure of the second line. Here's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And then the, leave out the little grace note for now. Just play the note. The one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and. So watch this counting carefully. A lot of syncopation in this piece. But that's what it is for the most part. Let's go down to the last line. The last two measures. One and two and three and four and one and the fourth finger. Left hand, down here, they say left hand legato. We're just going to connect everything. One, two, three, four, one. Don't forget the B flat. One, two, three, and four. It's nice to have the left hand doing something normal hmm? because the right hand's going crazy. So go down to the third line, last two measures, you're here. Two, and you cross over. Leave the thumb on the C, just cross over. Two, three, one, two, A flat. One, two. Then the last line. Third measure, thumb on that. You have a quarter rest to move down. Just one, two, three, four, D flat, and then thumb on the C. So it's the last measure. One, two, three, four, and last note is an F and it comes on the end of, well it comes with the last eighth note in the, the end of four. One, two, three, and four, and. Hmm. Put the hands together slowly. This should be an adventure. Here. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and. So you got to get off of that when you play the C. Second measure. One and two and three and four. One and two. One, two, three, four. One and two. through the whole thing real carefully and work out the hands together, the rhythm. Once you do that, we can go add the articulation and these little ornaments. Here, slurs. Just lift up between you, slur. One. Again, the left hand is legato all the way through. So, a third measure. Now this one, again, different ways of doing grace notes. I explained it in the previous video. Go watch that. But whether you play it on before the beat or you play them together, just get off the beat. It's a B natural, by the way. Or I play it on the beat with the, with the left hand. I play it on the beat, you play it as you see fit. So here. 
that's an accent on that one. Let's go down to the last line, the last two measures here, here. Staccato. The last note is a staccato with an accent. Hmm? And I add the dynamics. It's moderately soft at the beginning and that is the right hand. Keep this left hand out of the way. It's just got this ostinato bass going, this regular pattern of the bass that keeps repeating. Them. Keep it in the background. We want to hear. So whatever moderately soft is to you, it's sort of soft, huh? Now you're going to crescendo up to a moderately loud. You see the MF coming up? So take your time, otherwise you'll be moderately loud by the end of the second measure, and that's too soon. So you may not even change at all in this measure. And you can come up just a hair in this measure. Now you're moderately loud. Except the accents, that'll be loud. So again, second measure, second line. Now all of a sudden you're soft, it's like an echo. Except for that accent, that, that one, that would be moderately loud. Now you're moderately loud. And you crescendo up to loud. That, right there, actually with an accent is a little louder than loud. Then come back down. two measures you're going to crescendo back up to loud. Take your time. Don't get loud until the last beat. Now they say happily and they give you a, an eighth or a speed up there is this out somewhere in there. Work it up. Yeah you gotta feel it. And they're also telling you to go ahead and swing the eighth notes. So we're going to play this more of a jazz style. And that means the counting isn't one and two and three and four and. Now when I learn it, I learn it that way straight. One and two and three and four and. But when you swing the eighth notes, and only the eighth notes, nothing else, the counting is swung. It's one and two and three and four. And you just, it's a felt thing. There's no notation to indicate what it really is. You have to feel it. So it's one and two and three and four. One. Just swing the eighth notes all the way through. No pedal, because we want to hear the staccatos and all that stuff. Pedal would blur it. Blech. I'll leave it up to you to work it up and turn it into music. you got to get to know it well enough that you're not thinking about rhythms and, and fingering and all that junk. You start getting into the music. Start feeling this. Feel that. And then once you can get into that, then you... you you know, that's where the magic happens. That's where it really starts turning into music. I would like to play very slowly with you to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics, but I am going to swing the eighth notes, just like that. So let's just go real slow. Play it one hand at a time if it'll help, but go slow. We want to make sure nothing else is going to work properly if you've got wrong notes stuck in there. So let's make sure those are correct. I'll give us four counts. One, two, 
Ready and go. And one and two and three. Yeah.